I just wanted to share my most favorite holiday drink. Um, I don't exactly like eggnog on its own. Um, I don't drink it just for fun. Sometimes I will drink spiced eggnog, but not a lot. I'm a really big coffee drinker. I'll drink coffee all day. So when an eggnog comes out, I like to make what I think Second Cup calls a Noel nog or what I call an eggnog misto. Um, for those of you who don't know what a misto is, it's basically half coffee of your roast and then half um, steamed milk. So what we're going to make is half warmed eggnog because I don't have a steamer and half coffee. All right, so I already poured my coffee. Um, I use a Keurig because my mom bought me one. Um, so this is kind of a cheat. So you brew your coffee with the smallest amount because you only want half a cup. You can make it a little stronger if you want, but I find that because this is less water, it's going to brew it stronger. And this is just a regular medium roast. You then take an additional coffee mug that is microwavable safe, and I like to fill it about halfway, maybe a little bit less, um, just because this mug is bigger than my other one. You can use whatever eggnog you choose. I like the go full bore on the 2% here. You then put it in the microwave for, I put it in two times. I put it once for 45 seconds, which I've already done, and then another time for 45 seconds. You do have to be careful because sometimes um, if it's too full, it will bubble over or burn your eggnog. All right, so now you just combine the two. Be careful because I used the wrong mug and it's really, really hot. Um, full disclosure, I used this cup once already. That's why it's already kind of dirty. Um, I promise you it's better than it looks. Um, that's just part of the eggnog. I actually um, warmed it up too too hot. So just be careful. If you don't want those little chunks from the eggnog, um, don't heat it up too warm. And now you have the best holiday drink ever invented.